Field's rooming house. Field speaking. Hello. Uh, Lou Costello. Uh, Lou Costello isn't here. This is Lou Costello talking. Oh, are you Lou Costello on the other end? I'm Lou Costello on both ends. All right, all right, wise guy. Where are you? I'm downtown picking up Mrs. Bronson and her daughter like you told me to. Good, good. Now bring them home here right away because Mrs. Bronson has got to get ready for her big benefit show. Now you drive carefully here. Don't worry. Don't worry, he says. Where's Bud Abbott? Oh, good. Now, you bring Bud Abbott here with you because he's got to help Mrs. Bronson with the show. Now, you tell him I said to keep an eye on you because if the cop picked you up for speeding, Costello, he's going to take away your driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I can't take my driver's license away. And why not? I haven't got a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? Some matter with you. What do you think you're running to? Fire or something? Now take it easy. Let's get on to the rooming house. Come on, go ahead. Well, we're here. We've been here already ten minutes. I... I've been chasing you for the last ten miles. You came all the way out from downtown in exactly four minutes. And that's ten miles. Now, how did you do it? I can come up the, out the Hollywood Freeway. The Hollywood Freeway isn't finished. It is now. Yeah. Well, what is that, eh? Well, so far, you've got five violations. I'm going to get a ticket, Abbott. Yes, you're going to get a ticket. You're making a lot of them. First of all, what's the idea of going up that wrong way in the one-way street? You see the arrow on the lamppost? Now, when you see the arrow on the lamppost and it points that way, what does it tell you? That tells you which way the wind's blowing. Yeah. <laughs> the arrow points that way on this street and on the next street it points that way. What does that signify? I mean, the wind's going down one street and up the other one. <laughs> Answer the man. Is that right? No, that's not right. How many people you got in this car? Let me take it, huh? How many people I got in the car? I said how many people you got in the car. Answer the man. You shut up. I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> all together? Yes, all together. Counting him? Counting him. Me too? You too. Seven. Seven. How many in the front seat? Three. How many in the back seat? One. How much is three and one? That's a hard one, eh? No, it's not a hard one. Well, I've got seven, eh? No, it's not seven. Now, how many in the car? All together? All together. Counting me? Yes, counting you. Answer the man. You shut up. I'm sorry. All together. All together. Seven. seven. How many in the front seat? Three. How many in the back seat? One. I'm asking you a simple question. A very simple question. How many people you got in the car? Seven. Three and one is not seven. Three and one never was seven. Three and one will never be seven. What was the idea of driving up on the sidewalk? Hey, you think I'm going to drive on the road with those crazy drivers? It's safer up there. Oh, yeah? I'm going 60 miles an hour. 60 miles a minute. 60 miles an hour. 60 miles a minute. 60 miles an hour. 60 miles a minute. This car won't go an hour. That's a violation. Well, put it in the book. All right. And do you realize you almost hit that old man about five blocks back there? That ain't my fault. He told me. No, 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 I didn't. I told you to give the old man the right of way. Oh, I thought he should get him right away. <laughs> Good thing for you, you didn't get him right away. I'm on way back. Oh, no. When I get through with you, you're not coming back. This is nice. Now, who's that lady over in the end? Oh, that's Mr. Bronson's wife. Who's the one in the middle? That's her daughter. Oh, that's Mr. Bronson's wife and daughter. No, no. That's that's Mrs. Bronson and Mr. Bronson's wife, and that's her daughter. I said, who is the lady on the end? He's a dope, ain't he? <laughs> Who's the lady on the end? That's Mrs. Bronson. All right, Mr. All right. Bronson's wife. All right, that's clear. Now, but who is the girl? That's her daughter. Then that's Mr. Bronson's wife and daughter. Can you explain it? Lou, explain you see, it. This is Mrs. Bronson over here. You told me that. This, this little girl over here, that's her daughter. Then it must be Mr. Bronson's wife and daughter. It is not Mr. Bronson's wife and daughter. It's Mr. Bronson's wife. I know what I'm talking about. I'll explain it to them. And it's her daughter. Explain will, it. Will you put that into English so that I can understand yeah. it? Look, officer, let me try to give it to you once it's straight. Suppose you went to the market and you bought a cow. So I bought a cow. Now, the cow had a calf. All right. Now, who would the calf belong to? Belongs to me. Oh, so you married a cow? Yeah, the smart thing. <laughs> Bronson, I hope that Mr. Costello's crazy driving didn't uh, disturb you any. Disturb me? I had to send my daughter down to the drugstore to get me some headache tablets. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Mrs. Bronson, surprised. 
You're just jealous, I bet, because I'm a better driver than you are, and I'm smarter than you are. You're smart. I'm as smart as you are, you dope. Oh, now, please, boys, boys, oh, don't quarrel so over me. <laughs> oh, dear, men are always fighting over me. Oh, they really are. <laughs> I remember when I was a girl. You remember that far back? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and there were two boys in our neighborhood who were fighting over me and fighting over me and fighting over me. And today, who do you think they are? Miles Standish and John Oldham. I... <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> you little fat monster. <laughs> It's quite right. Oh, no, it's quite right. <laughs> How many times do you think you can scare me with this thing? Keep it out of my car. Mrs. Ross, would you mind holding this for me? <laughs> Scaring people out of their shoes. You're going to get us in an awful mess of trouble, Lou. Jersey. <laughs> you're satisfied now? You've insulted the woman. Now get right over there and apologize in person. Go on. Go on over and apologize to Miss Bronson. Go on. Apologize. Apologize. Mrs. Bronson. What's the matter? It's you, Mrs. Bronson. What's happened? Nothing. I was just giving myself a mud pack. Well, what was all this with you and Costello? You keep that maniac and Costello away from me. Either he leaves his apartment house or I will. Oh, come, come now, Mrs. Bronson. Let's just think a minute. Didn't I talk Bud Abbott into becoming stage manager of your show? Well, what has that got to do with that overstuffed garbage can Costello? Well, they're partners, dear. If Costello goes, Abbott goes with him. Then your show is gone. No stage manager. Oh, very well. But you keep Costello out of my hair. Oh, oh you got a deal. Uh, Miss Bronson. Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, Costello. Yeah. How dare you compare this beast to Miss Bronson? Uh, how, how dare you compare Miss Bronson to this? This uh, Miss Bronson is no beast. She is a beast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, I'll handle this, Mrs. Bronson. Do you, you mind? You better had you, troublemaker. Do you realize I'll never be able to look myself in the face again? That makes two of us. Will you, please, will you please try to keep this idiot in line? I'm trying my best. I've done everything in the world to keep him from being thrown out of here. Look, didn't I give you boys permission to turn my garage into a gym? My poor car has been standing out in the street for three months. Anything's liable to happen to it. What could happen to it? Huh? Oh, oh, what was it? First, uh, Mr. Fields, just take it easy now. Just no. Take it easy. Please just take it easy. You've got to brace up. Mr. Was it my car? Oh, pal. You've been such a nice fellow. Nice landlord. Just take it easy. You've got to take this like a man. Take it standing up. Was it my car? Keep your chin up, Mr. Lou, Fields. Lou, we'll talk. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Fields. <laughs> Lou. Lou. Oh, no. All right, take it, take it easy. Mr. Fields, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but my advice to you is get your shoes resold in, in the morning. You're going to do an awful lot of walking. <laughs> Sorry, pal. It's all right. We did the best we could. <laughs> Poor fella. Couldn't take it. Just couldn't take we it. Everything we could. That's all. Now, uh, Joe, are you still up? Oh, now, look, please. Well, well, I, I, don't want, I don't want to be annoyed by you. I heard you say something has to go to the flies. Look, will you please keep quiet? Keep out of this. I don't know why I ever left. 
Fields talked me into this uh, fix up this stage here for Mrs. Uh, Bronson. Listen, this is work. This is this is not play, you know. No, but you told him you used to be on the stage. Right, I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Well, forget I about it. I used to be on the stage too, but they don't give me no job in the well, shows. I'm not going to hang around here all day, you know. I had plenty, of, plenty of opportunities. All right. right, yes, I know you had all the opportunities. I would like a chance in this show. If you don't, what are you talking about? You and actor, get out of here. Wait a minute, uh, Joey. Wait a minute, Joey. You mean you never saw me in the picture? Oh, uh, certainly not. Where? Well, Didn't you see me in that picture, Toast of the Town? Toast of the Town. Yeah. But were you one of the crumbs? Now get out of here. Stop annoying. <laughs> Joe. Wait a minute. Just a minute. Just a... Excuse me, Joe. Leave Joe alone. You? Now stop giving orders. Will you stop this? Look out now, you see? Hey, go ahead. Now start some trouble up here. Well, I'm asking you. Get off the stage. Go out in the alley if you want to play. I've got a nice voice. Why don't you give me a chance to help Mrs. Bronson in the show so then she'll make up with me and then it What in happy. the world can you do, Lou? Will you please? Sing. You can what? Sing. Since when? Now. Since now. <laughs> hear me? You're a... No, no, no. I don't want to hear you. Look, I've got to hang this scenery, Lou. The show will be on tonight. The scenery's got to go up. The show must go on. Well, give me a chance. Sit down there and sing, please. Sing to yourself. Go ahead. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Listen to this now, huh? I don't want... Go ahead. Sing. Oh, I Boy. love Jeannie with a yeah. light uh, Take this up a little higher, Joe. A little higher. I love Jeannie with a light brown hair. Joe, can you hear me up there? A little higher. <laughs> Mike, get on the road. Please help a little bit. A little higher. Higher. Oh, no, no, no. Too high. Too high. Too high. down there, smash, you were hot. Well, it was your own fault, Lou. Why didn't you let me sing? Jeannie, with the light brown hair. All right, all right, all right, stop it, stop it. I must have lost weight. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did I... Hey, how do you like that? Three pounds heavier. I took on three pounds. Can you imagine with all the work I did there? Oh, I don't know. You'll have to give me a rub down, Lou. I gotta give you a rub down. Yeah, it's getting in shape again. You better get it now, because I think Fields is gonna turn this thing back into a grass. You know how to give a rub down? You don't. Well, that's right, you never did. Hey, wait a minute. Fatless Frankie is on the air at this time every day. 
with his reducing program. Turn on the radio. Go ahead, turn that on and do everything that he tells you to do. Okay, well, give me, give me, get your rope off. Now, wait a minute. Turn it on and do everything, and don't ask any questions. Okay. Just listen to Fatless Frankie. He's a guy who can get rubbed down. You must do it. Bro. Yeah, but we want to get some of this weight off. You know what I mean, Lou? Okay, come on, turn on the radio. And now, the body beautiful hour. Well, 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 good morning. I know that you all have just completed your two-mile run. Now, lie down, relax. Stretch your body and you're ready for your rub down. Remember, do everything I say. First, get a bottle of rubbing alcohol or witch hazel. I'll wait. Rubbing alcohol or witch hazel? Rubbing alcohol or witch hazel? Which one do you want? Oh, use either. I beg your pardon? Use either. Use either? Yeah, sure. Now look 
tipped the body over, does the body have a soft top or a hard top? I think it's a hard top. If the body has a hard top, use a combination of colors. As an example, if the body is painted black, paint the top green. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 